What does Mount Olive mean to you? What's your vision of Mount Olive's future? What role has God given to you at Mount Olive to help make that vision a reality? We posed these questions to a number of Mount Olive members. The answers we got tell a lot about God's grace to our congregation in the past and about the opportunities that God has now given us to share His Word in the future. See if you don't agree. Mount Olive to me is family. Um, we've been here now for a number of years and we um, know a lot of the people so no matter what service that, that we do come to we see uh, family and friends and um, it also is a wonderful uh, joining together of, of people. Mount Olive is a place where my family can be nurtured in the Word and the Sacrament and um, that's very meaningful to me to be able to have one place where we can come and not only worship but spend our time using our gifts and our talents and um, where other people can do the same thing. Mount Olive uh, is a place where we're really blessed at, you know, given the blessings by the Lord where we've got an opportunity to hear the word and its truth and its purity and we have the opportunity to get together as a, as a large congregation of fellow believers to do that and it's important to everyone. Um, probably the biggest thing from my perspective is is that our kids get a good education, they learn values and they they learn how to treat other people and uh, their friends we, we can kind of count on the fact that they that they're trained in the same way and uh, have the same faith and values. Obviously Mount Olive has been a blessing to the lives of many people. For generations Mount Olive has been a place where the Word of God is proclaimed in all its truth and purity. A place where the sacraments are administered according to the command of Christ. A place where children receive a quality Christian education. But more than that, Mount Olive is people. Sinners who have been redeemed by God, filled with the Holy Spirit and set apart for God's purpose. But what is that purpose? What is Mount Olive's mission? Well, I think with a new facility, our youth group might be able to get a new area, and then we can expand our youth group, and I think it'll provide opportunities for us to ask other members or even other friends from school to come to our new facility and join our new youth group. It might be a new beginning for us. Well, Mount Olive, I believe, is first of all right now already a place where the Word is taught in its truth and purity, and people really have the opportunity to be served. And I think with the building program, it'll offer more opportunities for people to be served. But just as importantly, is offer a place where people can also serve their Lord, which is just as important. Certainly, Mount Olive is a congregation with a great deal of potential. God has given us many opportunities for reaching out to our community and nurturing people with the Word of God. And yet, there are a number of things about our present facility that are currently hindering our ability to share our Christian faith and love with others. A crowded narthex, for example lack of climate control or handicapped access, limited classroom and teen ministry space. The proposed expansion on Mount Olive's current site addresses many of these limitations. It offers a number of important upgrades that have people excited about Mount Olive's plans for the future. I think the increased fellowship, the opportunity to have a place for the teens to go that's in the church and that's dedicated and for them, what encourages me when Mount Olive acquired the property out here on Florida Avenue, the first thing they built was a school, a Lutheran elementary school. And I think as, as members, we need to continue that tradition that's been established. Uh, so the expansion of the school, getting the classrooms out of the basement, and the expansion of the gymnasium just, is just critical uh, for our school so we can accept more children and that we can continue to grow because that is one of the areas that has, has um, Mount Olive has grown because of the elementary school. To have an opportunity where more people can participate in the Word, um, that's really what makes things happen, is that connection to God. And you take our Sundays where every s classroom is already filled with a, a Sunday school class, uh, our Bible class, one of them is actually in the sanctuary. To have more opportunities available for people to get together in a, in a, a conducive setting to, to participate in the Word, I think is only going to bring far more blessings to our congregation. 
Constructing a facility that meets the needs of our congregation will require a major financial commitment from the members of Mount Olive. Building together is an opportunity for each one of us to prayerfully reflect upon God's grace and His purpose for our lives. Building together is our chance to make a difference in people's lives for generations to come. Yes, we do plan on participating in the Building Together program. Mostly because we really are strained for fellowship opportunities um, like we would like. At the end of the service, we do not have the opportunity to really get, get to talk to each other maybe as much as we'd like. Yeah, as a family, we, we are in the process right now of talking about that. That we, over supper, have had some discussions. What are the things that we're willing to give up so that we can generate an additional stream of income to uh, give to the church? We're also looking at uh, potentially taking some of our investments and uh, gifting them over to the church. Yes, our entire family plans on participating in the program. I think it's a, it's a wonderful way for, for our family and for our whole congregation to, to meet together, to unite, and to work towards a common goal of, of building a, a larger, nicer facility. We've got three, three teenagers, and in the three years of the program, all three of them will either be at Lutheran High School or in college. So at this point in our life, like I know many other people, we know that finances are going to be strained and they're going to be tight. One of the things that is a challenge for us is, um, of course, job security. And uh, at the point in our lives, we're not real sure about my current position. Um, but however, we are going to trust in the Lord that He has a plan for us and uh, we are going to give sacrificially and uh, regardless of a job situation and just try to continue and uh, pray that the Lord will take care of us. Taking on a project like Building Together requires a great deal of faith in God, faith in God's purpose for our lives, faith in God's promises to provide for our needs, faith that God will bless the sacrifices we make to share the gospel with others, just as God has blessed us through the ministry of Mount Olive. May he also bless generations to come through our prayerful commitment to the task of building together.